So I decided to do a decline dent because um, I've always wanted to pursue postgraduate studies since I was an undergrad student. Um, I didn't know in what field exactly. Um, so I was a general dentist for more than 10 years. Um, and then I decided that endodontics felt like the natural progression because it is an extension of operative dentistry. Um, so for me, I chose to do a decline dent because I wanted to challenge myself um, and to build on um, what I know and what I've learned in dentistry. So I chose Otago um, to do my postgraduate studies um, because it is my alma mater. I believe I've met a lot of like-minded people who have built quite a close-knit sort of community and that's been quite lovely as well, having that sort of support that you go through it together. And Otago is renowned for its research um, and also its academic staff, they're quite well renowned. Um, and also the facilities, um, you know, we're quite lucky to have quite brand new world-class facilities as well. Dunedin's probably one of the best places um, in the world to study. Um, everything is so close together. Um, having spent a couple of years here as an undergraduate student doing dentistry and then coming back as a postgraduate now doing decline dent, um, which is able to explore so much. And Otago is actually a beautiful place. Doing a decline dent will open up a lot of doors. Um, in addition to practicing as a specialist, um, um, there will be options um, in terms of um, education, um, teaching, um, research. Um, it really um, takes you all over the world. Um, so. It's an absolutely amazing thing, thing to do. I came into it thinking I knew so much about endodontics and you know because I'd seen or read X amount but when you sort of immerse yourself in, uh, in the actual world of it you realize it's it can be very diverse and yeah I think I, I was quite humbled. As far as advice goes for uh, anyone wanting to do a decline dent um, at Otago, I think come in with a very open mind. Patience is, is another thing. Be very patient <laughs> um, with yourself. Uh, it is you know, it is three years, and and there is a lot to learn. Uh, and don't be frustrated if, if things aren't going necessarily how you planned for them to go. So uh, I think those are the the main bits of advice I would give.